So, what is going on, YouTube? Your boy Sam from Team Sam Riggs when you hear it. And today, guys, and wait, wait, before I see anything, I just want to say that, oh my goodness, it feels like it's been forever. Guys, I miss you guys. Like, I actually miss you guys. I felt like I haven't properly uploaded a video like this when I talk to you guys face to face within a week now. And a week is a pretty long time if we're looking at YouTube calendars. So, guys, I just want to say I freaking miss you guys. And that's from the bottom of my heart. Today's video a new FTK approaches. Now this is when you guys are probably saying, oh Sam, you like FTK, yada yada yada. Yeah, I yeah, I, I like FTKs. Got a got a problem? Yo, square up, fam. Yo. If you guys do not know what FTK is, you guys have probably been living under a rock for the past few months. FTK, first turn kill decks. You don't let your opponent play. You just go first and you win the duel. And guess what? This deck doesn't need fireball. <laughs> so is fireball the problem? Yes, it is. Your opponent's life points are not getting touched. This FTK has been floating around now for a couple of weeks, and I'm just very late to the party because, you know, I had so many things to do. I was in YCS. I wasn't able to make you guys this video, but now since I'm back, I'm able to demonstrate you guys the full FTK in actions with zombies, okay? The reason why I made this video is because it's for entertainment purposes only, and at the same time, you guys just need to be aware that there are FTKs like this out there, so you guys can know uh, what to watch out for if you guys see these type of gimmicky decks at a regional or YCS. So without further ado, let's dive into YGO Pro for this FTK. All right, guys, so we're back on YGO Pro today. And today, guys, a new FTK approaches. So I'm going to demonstrate you guys the brand new Mayakashi FTK here on Team Samurai X1. So without further ado, let's get started. So obviously, you guys don't know, we always get this paper. All right, so paper, scissors, okay? Zane True Stale is actually very interesting. So honestly, is he, is he going to make you go first? <laughs> Yo, people on YGO Pro are so predictable. They put their name as Zane Truesdale, and I'm 100% sure that this guy is playing Cyber Dragons. Like, <laughs> and he's making me go first. And guys, the new way to FTK your opponent is we're not exodiaing your opponent, okay? We're not burning your opponent's life points with Cannon Soldier, but the new way and the new age without Firewall Dragon, the new way is we're decking your opponent out. And you guys know that whenever you deck your opponent out and your opponent cannot draw cards in their draw phase, they automatically lose the duel. All right, guys, and this card right here, so absorbing bone tower is the card that we're using to FTK your opponent with the brand new Mayakashi monsters that came out in Hidden Summoners. So this video is gonna be very interesting for those of you who have not seen a combo like this before. Like I said, guys, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I do not condone FTK. So if you see this at a regional or at a YCS, be prepared to see a gimmicky and troll deck like this. All the mummy does is that you get special summon a zombie monster from your hand when you control no monsters on the field. So you get a special summon, of course, Zoro absorbing uh, uh, bone tower directly from your hand then you get to normal summon this card freely when his card is normal summon he gets special summon uh daki uh, the grace for mayakashi directly from the deck so you special summon daki right here very very awesome and now this combo will happen so he sends the top two cards to point his deck to the graveyard and he's playing cyber dragons <laughs> Man, YGO Pro players, you guys are too predictable, man. And this is when the FTK happens. So basically, we're just going to deck your opponent out. Now, you guys all know I love to demonstrate new FTKs here on the channel. So uh, you're going to summon, of course, uh, this card right here. So you're going to basically uh, single climb until you reach uh, the maximum uh, amount of levels for the Synchro Monster Mayakashis. And you guys all know that Mayakashis, we have a ton of uh, level monsters in the deck. So it goes from 3, 5, 7, uh, you know, a 9, and 11. And basically what Daki does is that when a Mayakashi monster is special summoned from your extra deck, while this card is in the graveyard, you get a special summon this card for, uh, from your graveyard to your side of the field. So it triggers off Bone Tower twice. So your opponent's constantly sending four cards uh, directly uh, from the top of their deck to the graveyard each time, you know, uh, a Daki and also a monster special summon from the extra deck so it goes until you know uh you know three five it goes to seven so you're gonna link climb not link climb single climb into your uh level up my mayakashi monster so you're gonna special summon daki back again and your opponent is just gonna mill four cards because uh daki and uh and you know and your Mayakashi Synchro Monster is summoned. So you're going to Link Climb into the 9. And then, uh, you know, Daki's going to activate her effect. Especially when it's from the graveyard. And then you're going to go to the top two cards of your deck to the grave. And then he's going to activate his effect again. And, I'm, and he's, he's playing Cyber Dragon to me to go first. He literally just, you know, ended his entire duel. Because I'm just going to FTK uh, my opponent without having 
them be able to draw for their turn. So we're just gonna keep looping this thing, which doesn't allow your opponent to play Yu-Gi-Oh at all. And obviously, this is not a fun thing. And obviously, once you reach the level 11, you basically climb into Yuki Ona, the uh, the Ice Mayakashi. With the amount of draw cards you're playing in the deck, you're gonna be guaranteed to get you know one of your combo pieces somehow. The really good thing about Book of Life is that you're actually able to activate this card on your first turn, is because you're milling so much cards. Um, you know, to your opponent's graveyard, you're just gonna special with one monster from the graveyard uh, to basically know the rest of, uh, um, you know, your opponent's entire deck. So you're gonna banish, you know, a core from their grave. Why not? Because we just basically know everything else. So you link line into this, boom. You know, activate this, activate Daki, and then, you know, you basically just win the duel from here on end. So you special summon, special summon, bone tower, and then for the final kill, you make the level seven, boom, and then, boom, Daki's gonna activate her effect. The special summon herself from the graveyard, and you guys don't know this is the alternate win condition to burn, uh, is when your opponent cannot draw uh, for their turn. So they have zero cards, they have all the cards in their graveyard right now, and they basically can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, guys, so without further ado, we're just gonna press the win button right here, which is the end phase. So we're gonna go boom, end phase, end phase, and <laughs> uh, Zane True's Zale card is gonna be drawn. You have won the duel. So, man. This is why, why guys, look at that. Don't, don't, don't give away your deck too much, everyone. Don't give away your deck. If you're putting your name on Y Joe Pro as Zane Truesdale, I'm gonna automatically know you're playing freaking Cyber Dragons. If your name is Seto Kaiba, I'm gonna assume that you're playing Blue Eyes, but you made me go first. So that's pretty much on how the combo works. You just basically need to get a way to get to the Winged Mayakashi on the board with Soul Absorbing Moon Tower, and then you can FTK your opponent very, very easily. So that's pretty much it for Duel Number One. Let's see if I can demonstrate you guys this FTK uh, with another duel. Man, let's see. Okay, all right. Make me go first. Make me go first. Oh, this hand is broken. Okay, unfortunately, I did not go first. So let's see if we can do something. Into the void. All right, guys. Into the void. I'll start Goblin. <laughs> okay. Keep digging through your deck. Keep digging through your deck. That's what I want. <laughs> guys, half my job is already done, bro. Oh, my God. Half of my job is already done. Wow, this guy literally drew all the draw cards. Okay, Samoon. Let's see what is. He literally had four draw cards in his opening hand. Literally refreshed his entire hand. He's gonna search through his deck. Uh, Black Rose is gonna search. Oh man, okay. So that's easier for Soul Absorbing Bone Tower, man. Let's see if he has something nice. So let's see what his backline player can do. This two card combo right here, it's absolutely disgusting. But he obviously did not open up with Black Rose, and he just opened up with some moon. Uh, so let's see. He banished the moon for the Samoon, I think. So let's see like what he could possibly do. Uh, with this board. Wow, so especially with all the black and monsters, 16 cards in his deck. I just need to activate Soul Absorbing Bone Tower four times, and I win the duel. That's it. I need to activate four Soul Absorbing Bone Tower four times to win the duel. What? That's it? Some black wing farmer? Wait, 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 what is this? Cattle call? Especially when I know it's a wind beat must be extra deck. What? Towers? Wow, that's really good. Ultimate cat. Wow, that's a really good first turn board. That's a really good first turn board. All right, guys, this hand already is it's it's already FTK. But we need to find a way to get all the cards in the graveyard. So right here, we got Mayakashi Revolt. We're searching a Mayakashi Monster Duck from the next turn. So we're just gonna set this. We're gonna set the World Legacy Succession. We're then we're just gonna activate uh, Card Destruction. Doesn't matter if we draw. Okay, so this is this is even better uh, right here. So first, we're gonna activate Mizuki's Effect. Because Mizuki is broken. Special summon, of course, Soul Absorbing Bone Tower directly from the graveyard. And now, since we have the Revolt right here, uh, we can just go Revolt. Revolt is obviously going to add uh, Winged Mayakashi directly from the deck to my hand. Uh, what he can do. If, if that's a back row, it doesn't matter. If it's a strike, I can just arrive back and Monster Reborn. So our hand is already set already. So we activate Bone Tower. Uh, now, and, and this is when the, the goo happens. Like, we just. We just automatically just win the duel. Like, he had the Pot of Desires because he, they just did half the work for us with Pot of Desires. And also with, you know, the Upstart, with, uh, you know, the Overworld Darkness. Like, so many things that, uh, you know, they activate to basically dig through the deck that it's just going to end off with their ultimate demise. So, another two cards. And last but not least, let's put the Finishing Touch. Let's put the Salt and Pepper. And there we have it, the Mayakashi. FTK. So we're gonna, you know what, you know what, bro? We're just gonna style them actually. Like, you know what? We're just, we're just gonna enter the battle phase because we're sick. So we're just gonna go into this bad boy. Okay, cool. We're just, we're just gonna enter the battle phase for fun because you know what? We can, right? We're just gonna enter the battle phase for fun. Okay? He has no more cards to mill. Let's enter battle phase. Let's just kill this. 
do some damage. You know what I mean? Do some damage. Do some damage. What? You, what, what are you going to add a card from your graveyard to your hand? Like, what are you going to add, huh? Okay, we're just going to end our turn. <laughs> you guys see that FTK? You guys see that FTK? Where's Firewall Dragon? Where's Firewall Dragon in the picture? Firewall Dragon is not existent, bro. Anyways, hopefully this video was very entertaining for you guys to watch. This FTK was really fun. It decks your opponent out and makes sure that your opponent doesn't play the game. So if your opponent uses cards like Pot of Desires or anything like that, they just do, you know, 50% of the job for you right there and there. So yeah, guys, if you guys want to see more crazy videos like these, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. That would be absolutely amazing. My, my Akashi deck profile is coming up and also my Zombie FTK deck profile is coming up very, very soon. So make sure you, if you guys are interested in that, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what your thoughts are about this FTK in the comment section below. Guys, this Friday, Black Friday sale all week throughout Cyber Monday. It's gonna be insane. TX is one website, TX is one.com. Get your play mats today up to 50% off the entire website. And I'm dropping new play mats. I also have, oh guys, you guys are not even ready. I got OCG sleeves on there as well. I, I, I've got OCG sleeves on there as well. Many, many things will be available on Black Friday weekend only. First come, first serve. I'm dropping new and limited edition mats. I have the brand new, ooh, what is that? Chaos Max Dragon Play Mat available. Oh my God. And it's gonna be up to 50% off. So make sure you guys visit TX1.com on Friday and throughout the weekend for amazing deals at TX1.com. You guys are super duper amazing. And it's your boy Sam from Team Sam Wilson and Sam signing off. All right guys, peace. <laughs> I feel like Usain in the cheetah print Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute R.I.P. the game, shh, I need a minute Okay, let's proceed with it I'm in the house, got to deep with it These bozos always sneak this And they taking shots, I'ma keep with it Like, no, no, this league business